Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to another video guys Where today guys, the clone spot was actually released and we do have it in store And we can buy 10 cards for 400 gems So let's just go ahead and buy them Do you want to buy 10 times car clone cards for 400 gems? Let's go, we got them So now we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this card And... Let's see up to what level we can get him up to. Let's upgrade him up to level 2 right now. Then let's upgrade him up to level 3. And let's actually make... And I'm going to actually make a deck. And I'll be right back. So I created this Hog Knight deck. With some minions and the clones. But I'll see if we can get some clone minions on the tower. And we're going to be playing against... Yaki Paki. From clan, I don't know, but we're gonna place a knight and some minions so we can get some chip damage over on the right lane tower. And I, I thought I like placing down a clone, but then when I saw the mega minion, I thought that it was pointless. So he does have a musketeer and some archers coming at us. So just in case he places like a minion horde, okay, let's throw down some arrows, let's put some fire spirits down for that miner on the bottom right. And he did get some chip damage on with that musketeer so let's put a knight to defend some minions to attack and okay so he placed an inferno tower which is not that bad of a choice and he did arrow down our minions but now since he did place an inferno tower let's actually place a hog rider down once that inferno does die off and yaki paki is actually playing really well um so let's actually place a hog rider some fire spirits Let's also play some goblins and a clone spell down. And the clone hog gets to the tower, gets one to two shots in. And the goblin, one goblin's gonna lock onto the tower before it dies by the musketeer. And he does have an archer and um, the musketeer, and he's gonna do the same combo all over again. So let's put some minions to help defend against that musketeer before he gets to the tower. And that musketeer is about to die. He does have a full health miner, which did actually be really decent. And got our tower down to 1,600 hit points. But we're going to be able to get his tower down to 1,800. And he did have to arrow down our goblins. Which is... Okay, so he placed the prince down. Let's place the cannon. Hopefully, um, we can defend really well. Let's place this knight down quick before he hits the tower. And oh my god, that was so clutch. It didn't even hit the tower. It hit the knight. But we have an almost dead knight. And we have a hog rider and it's double elixir time so hopefully we can get something going let's switch up lanes on this guy and then hopefully we can do something let's clone and the hog rider goes to the main tower while the cloned hog rider hits the inferno tower and let's put some goblins down for his musketeer let's put down some fire spirits a knight and hopefully he doesn't counter it and he is going to counter us really well with a musketeer and a mega minion let's throw down a hog rider and yeah guys he's defending really well um hmm. We're just defending all, everything that we put. So let's put down some minions, some goblins, some clone spell, even though we don't need it. Um, a knight right here. Let's put down some fire spirits. And so far, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to beat him. He did just take our tower. And yeah, there's nothing we could really do about this, guys. Um, but it's just about having fun with the new clone spell that was just released. So that's gonna be that for that battle and we did end up losing our first battle with the clone spell um so let's actually head on to another battle but quick before that let's actually change up our deck a bit let's switch to this one and instead of the minion horde i think i'm gonna put in something cheaper so let's actually put in some minions or some fire spirits let's put down some fire spirits um and let's put in archers for that musketeer. Hopefully we can make this a cheaper deck. Um, then in all then from the heavy deck. So let's actually put a hog rider in for the lava hound. And that should be good um, of a deck. So let's actually open up this free chest real quick. We got nothing. And let's open let's get into another battle against Chinese guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he is at 2,917 trophies. And we did start off with Hog Rider, so let's put a Hog Rider, some Fire Spirits, and let's put down a Clone Spell. Yeah, let's put that down. And the Clone Hog gets one shot in before the Mega Minion does hit it. 
Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention was that the cloned units actually only have one hit point, uh, one hit point of health, so they die in one swing from anything. And he did just miss the log on our goblins, which is gonna get around 100 damage on his tower. He did place a tombstone right when I placed my heart right down, so that's a bit of misfortunate. And I want to see if I can arrow both the archers and the skeletons. But we're just going to have to arrow his skeletons because he did send in a miner. And let's put some fire spirits on his um, archers. And yeah, guys, he's getting some good chip damage. But we're still beating him by about 300 to 400 damage. Um, we're probably going to be switching decks a lot in this video just to see what kind of different combinations we can get on um other people or whatever but he does have a nice wizard and he did place a giant down so let's put it down an inferno tower and let's put down some goblins for that ice wizard and i do know that that mega minion is there so it will kill most of it and he is gonna end up logging our archers which is a bit bad for us let's try to put our hog rider in to push that ice wizard and right when i put my hog rider again he has his um tombstone ready i put some down some fresh place to take out his ice wizard and he already has another ice wizard so let's put down some archers and hopefully we can keep on defending and the archers actually lock onto the manor which is really bad for us um the ice wizard is gonna finish off the archers and let's down put down some arrows for the skeletons before they completely annihilate our tower and right now we're heading into double elixir time and if we keep on playing like this he's gonna end up beating us so let's do a lane switch up right here with the Hog Rider, um, Goblin, <laughs> right when we put, um, our Fire Spirits, um, the lock he does kill around two of them, so that's a bit bad for us, but he does have a Mega Minion, so let's put down some Goblins, why not, and let's put down a Hog Rider and a Ray Spell, hopefully we can get one shot in and we get, oh my god, he has to Lightning our, ta our Hog Rider, so let's actually put down some Arrows and taking out his um archers so let's put down archers of our own let's put down some goblins for his um miner and hopefully we can defend this guy off he did just place a nice wizard so let's put some fire spirits and a hog rider let's rage all that up and one single log is enough to take everything out which is a bit sad because he just completely annihilated our push he did lightning and one more miner should do the trick and he sends in the miner and five hit points left on the tower and that's gonna be game and we lost two games in a row hopefully we can win the next two and yeah he did play really well so i'm gonna just go ahead and switch my deck up a little bit so yeah um let's go into deck number three right here which is this giant graveyard deck i might make a video about it later on but it already does have the clone spell so let's jump into a battle right now against Dorsey 8249 from clan Bebenberg Bebenberg and let's place a furnace down he did place the lava hound and we do we did start off with the clone spell and right now let's put some archers down to chip away at the lava hound see what he places down behind that lava hound he does zap our archers for some reason. I think he thinks he's high level that his zap will actually kill our archers, but it's not. That he does send in a miner, but let's hit him with this huge counter push mega minion archer giant. And if he doesn't, okay, so he fireballs our mega minion, but let's put down a graveyard. He must be completely out of the elixir right now after that big push. He displaced an infernal dragon, which does lock onto our skeletons, and the skeletons are just gonna annihilate that tower. That's why I like this deck because you can you just need to get a giant and a graveyard on his tower and that's basically game but let's put down some arches for his inferno dragon and his mega minion hopefully they don't lock onto the furnace let's try to keep this furnace alive as long as possible and he does place a minion horde and let's place a mega minion down in the middle so both towers and the mega minion can target the minions at once and he does place a minor but i'm not gonna do anything about it mostly because i don't got any elixir right now but right now i'm thinking of a way we can get his second tower uh, and probably three crown him but let's try to secure um both only two towers right now and he displaced a lava hound so let's actually put a giant in 
place a furnace down um, on the direction that the lava hound is coming. It does have a mega minion, so let's actually put down some archers. And hopefully we can get down a fireball zap combo to take out his minion horde. And he does place an infernal dragon. And let's actually zap it. Hopefully it locks onto one of the skeletons. And it actually keeps on locking onto the giant, which is a bit bad. But look at that, we just completely countered his push over there on the right side. So let's actually place a furnace down. Let's place a fireball down for his mini horde since he did just zap our furnace. And yeah, guys, he's going for two, both towers right now. I'm not really sure why. But um, yeah, he did just place another Loud Hound and that Mega Minion let's zap it. And oh my god, the Mega Minions is like at literally zero health right now. Let's clone everything right there. And the clone Mega Minion is gonna die. Let's place a giant down right here. And then let's place a graveyard right there. Hopefully we get do get be able to get the second crown. But he does place a minion hole which will completely counter our graveyard. But yeah guys, he sends in a last minute gravy miner. And we're gonna win one to zero crowns against Dorsey 8249. And let's just go for one more battle or two more battles inside of this, um, but inside of this video. But we did start off with a giant and some archers, so let's place um a giant here in the back once we hit 10 elixir. And let's actually place it down right now, okay? So then let's place. A furnace and then some archers I believe and he does place a giant on the other lane so I'm just gonna save my mega minion for his giant he does place an ice wizard on the other lane which leads me to believe that he's not gonna accompany his giant push anymore let's place some archers down and he does place a princess which is gonna hurt quite a bit he does place a skeleton army let's zap it and the archers just work away at the mega minion the giant at like half health Almost gets to the tower, but he places a minion horde down, which is a bit bad for us. And he does have a princess down. Hopefully that mega minion does end up killing the princess with one swing. And it does. And he does have a hot ready, but we weren't ready in time. So let's actually just place this um, furnace down. He did put a rage spawn in, which is a bit um, costly because he did do a lot of damage to our towers. And right now we're at like literally six elixir right now, so let's actually place some arches down and then let's place down a mega minion depending on what he places. Let's place down a mega minion. I was hoping it will target the ice wizard, but it just ended up targeting the um giant and he does have another princess down, so let's actually put a giant down and the ice wizard is just gonna kill those archers. And let's zap all of that over there. And he's just defending really good right now. I don't think we'll be able to beat him. But again, this is just for fun. I'm not trying to beat anybody. But we're just trying to test out the new clone spot, which he doesn't even let us do. I try to place a clone spot on, and he just has to counter us completely. And that princess is only going to get one to two shots in on our tower. He does place a minion horde. And let's fireball all of that before it gets to the tower. Our tower is down to around 300 damage. Um, he does end up placing a nice wizard, um, a princess, and yeah, guys, we're not going to be able to defend this. He's going to take that tower, but with 40 seconds left, I'm hoping we can get come back from this and just go all out on his left tower here. Um, let's place a mega minion for his giant, and that princess is just going to keep on chipping away at our tower, but... If we have any shot at winning 20 seconds left let's fireball all that let's put down a graveyard and hopefully we can get to the tower guys can we do it he does place a princess down which is gonna take most of the minions out and his tower is down to like 500 hit points 600 and nine seconds left hopefully we can get to his tower come on giant and let's actually try to aim for a fireball and we're not gonna be able to get to his tower in time and he's gonna end up beating us 1-0 in this battle he says good game let's tell him a well played that's minus 28 trophies but it's okay so yeah guys i can't believe i still have the clone spots should be a really interesting car to use um i'm gonna test it out in a few more battles after recording this video but also electric wizard confirmed as i said in the last video um 
It says he lands with the pow stunning nearby enemies and continues to show off by zapping two at a time. His favorite movie is T2. I'm not really sure what T2 is, but yeah, guys, um, I'm super happy that for the clone squad and the electric wizard. But if you did enjoy this video, definitely break that like button. Also, leave any feedback you guys have for me. But my name is Alex, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.